Uh, sorry to bother you when you're busy, Mona. I need to use the kitchen real quick. Oh man, what's going on? Well, it's Valentine's Day and I need to make some chocolates for someone. Do you think you could help me? For you, Lady Haru, anything. Let's go steal some recipes. Here are the ingredients for the homemade chocolate. We'll be working with butter, cocoa powder, vanilla extract, condensed milk, and for our decorations, we'll be using sprinkles and coconut flakes. An alternative method to making homemade chocolates is using a chocolate bar of your choice, a mold, and sprinkles for decoration. All right, then let's get started. First, we're going to turn on the stove onto low heat, and then we're going to melt our butter. All right, once your butter is completely melted, we're gonna add in the cocoa powder. We wanna keep stirring until it's nice and smooth. Make sure you get all the little pockets of powder. Now that the chocolate's nice and smooth, we're gonna add in our condensed milk. We're gonna turn the heat up to medium and keep stirring, otherwise it's going to burn. <laughs> once your chocolate is Nice and smooth. I'm gonna take it off the heat and then add in the vanilla extract. And now we're gonna pour it into a bowl. So this batch turned out a little bit burnt. You're gonna to wanna to be careful when you're mixing to make sure that you don't overheat your chocolate. I'm gonna redo this and while I'm doing that, why don't we go see what Mona's recipe looks like? I'm just going to use the milk chocolate, so I don't need this one. So first, I'm going to take the chocolate and shave it up into little pieces so that I can put into the double boiler and it'll melt easier. I have shaved all the chocolate and put it inside my double boiler and we're going to wait until this chocolate slowly melts. Oracle, throw on that loading screen. All right, so now the chocolate has fully melted and I'm going to place it inside my molds. I've got cute little cat molds. Gently tap your molds to release the air bubbles. Now that your chocolate's in the molds, cast Bufu or put it in the fridge. Now all you have to do is pop these out of the molds. <gasps> look, my brethren. Ah, oh, look how perfect it is. I hope Erica, oh, I mean, Lady Anne really likes these. I'm gonna try these with Haru. Now it's time to roll our truffles. With clean hands or with gloves, start by scooping out some of the truffles. You wanna scoop out a bite-sized amount of the truffle, like so and then roll it into a ball on your palm, and then roll it into your topping. And then place it into your little cupcake holder. And repeat. And aside from the toppings that we have here, you can roll it into any kind of um, chopped nuts, such as pecans or peanuts or walnuts. And in the center, you can also put other things such as chopped dates or cranberries whatever you think your loved one would like. Another good flavor that would go well with these is while you're mixing earlier, you can add in a little bit of instant espresso powder to give it that coffee flavor. I think those would go really well with these. But um, you know what? I wonder if curry would go well with these. Do you think Sojiro would like that? All right, once you finish rolling your truffle, it should be a nice little round shape like this. Hmm, I wonder who Joker's gonna spend Valentine's Day with. <gasps> Oops! <laughs> Didn't mean to crush it there. <laughs> Mona-chan, I finished my chocolates. You wanna see? Oh, they're so pretty. Thank you. How did yours turn out? They're perfect. They look just like my brothers and sisters. Oh, they look so cute. I oh. know, aren't they? Is that Joker I see over there? Oh. Thank you for 
for watching Cooking and Cosplay. Thank you, Hara, for being here today. My pleasure. Hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Be sure to make these for your loved ones. Like and subscribe. Well, it's Valentine's Day and I need me... Because I can talk. <laughs>